What's up boys, it's your boy Boots, we're going to do a totally different video from normally what I would do. I haven't uploaded in ages, I'm currently working on a video, um, it's taken me ages, it's like 20 hours of footage, whatever. But in today's video we're going to, I'm going to show you how to hack Unity games, because, you know, fun, funny. Funny, funny hacks. Yeah, today's video we're gonna be using content warning, mostly because it's one of the easiest to hack the play movement. Uh, from what I've found, uh, this isn't like a a video to cause damage to the creators. Yeah, we're gonna be changing the movement on content warning. So to start off, uh, you will need DN Spy. I will put it into the description, like the the GitHub link. Uh, you extract it, it should look like this. Uh, if it's not, uh, try and find another video of how to install it. I can't remember exactly how to install it now. But yeah, you're just going to grab this, you're going to double click this, it will open this, something that looks like this. Uh, up here it says C sharp, make sure that you have uh, all the Microsoft kind of things installed. Um, you will need to know some prior knowledge to coding and at most like some development team based things. But for now, uh, you're going to go to your Steam or wherever your game is. Uh, in Steam, you're going to right click it, you're going to press manage and browse local files. Uh, it will come up with something like this and you're simply going to go to, I think it's, no, it's in content warning data and then it should be in managed. Yeah, you're going to click on the, on here, you're going to select this, control C, wherever this is, you'll see a load of DLLs um, and you're going to go back to the inspire, file, open, and up here, uh, you can see I've, I've just tested it out again before making this video. Up here, you're going to control V and enter. And then you're going to click on the assembly C sharp. It should be like the, from my knowledge, I think it's where every bit of compiled data gets put. Don't hold me on that. Um, Straight away, you'll be able to see, like, what it uses. For some reason, it uses Steam VR. I, I never knew that it was VR. Up here, uh, I think I can zoom. I don't. Yeah. Up here, the little arrow, and you're gonna click this little arrow, and then you can ignore all these unless you want to change these for some reason. Uh, you should see a little dash, and you're gonna click here there. Straight away you'll see every single script that they used to make the game. And at the first glance it's like, whoa, how can I even edit any of this? And for now we're going to scroll, either scroll down or search for the player. So I think it should be like player, like, player ragdoll. You'll see like a lot of things anywhere. For now, we're gonna try and find the the controller for the player, player controller. Yep. As a game developer, most player scripts will just be called player controller. Uh, it's not it's not hard to read this unless you have no idea what it means. Um, if you're looking to kind of mod this spe this specific game, you don't know any knowledge, you can follow along with me. And yeah, so we're gonna try and find. It should be every little variable down here. Uh, it's just the way that it's compiled. Uh, you can ignore talk and whatever. And to edit the script, you're gonna right click anywhere in here. I don't think you should right click though if it doesn't really matter and you're going to press edit class this will kind of edit the entire script at once and not just a single um 
method. A method is this, if you're not familiar with it. And we're going to try and find where it does the math for moving. That you'll see like here, sprint multiplier. Um, you do have to be careful with this because I remember that this, for some reason, some uh, like NPCs in the game will use the play controller. So whatever you change on here can change, like every little thing in it. But for now, we're just going to simply just change some of these values. So it is crouching instead of it like changing it making you slower we're just gonna make it twice as fast strangled for seconds i'm not sure what strangled means uh i'm just gonna leave it for now and this dot ragdoll dot add force this just basically means it's adding the velocity onto it you can see movement vector movement force and acceleration um this is a physics based game so we're going to just change this little num to num times 2. This could be a bit problematic, but for now I think that should be fine. And also, what we're going to do, I'm going to try and look for the jump. So yeah, this uses Pun RPC, it's like a server based thing. And it's uh, that's what RPC, RPC uh, jump thing, it will just run this method so it can sync between clients or something, I'm not too sure. Right, I think we're gonna just simply times two though. We're just gonna simply do that. You're basically just recording the entire thing within these scripts. So to compile this, uh, you're gonna simply press compile. You're gonna go over to file and save all. You could get this error here, I tend to ignore it. I'm going to press OK. And then you're going to go back to your game and run it and see if it works. Sometimes changed variables can lead to crashes. I think it's just the way it's com like the way it compiles. It expects something. So we're in. Oh, yeah, ignore, ignore my name there. You might notice I am a bit faster actually. If I crouch, I'm also fast. And I'm pretty sure, yep, we can jump infinitely now. Yeah, it's just as simple as that. If you want to come up with like a teleporting feature, you can do that too. You can just say, uh, you know, teleport play this high, teleport play this far, whatever. Yeah, you can change pretty much anything. But I'm not sure if it's got like an anti-cheat where it can ban you or something. Uh, you go too far away from that, I know that kind of sets you back. Limitless, seriously. You can make all these free if you really wanted to. I've done that before, it's not too hard. And uh, yeah, so thanks for anyone that's kind of joined. Uh, if you like this kind of like content, uh, I've just tried something new. I uh, decided to kind of record this as a tutorial. But yeah, if you like this kind of content, subscribe. If you want to see some more, comment, tell me if you like it. And I also, if if I've got any fans, uh, I also uh, managed to get Premiere Pro and all the Adobe products. And hopefully my editing's a lot better. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for anyone that's kind of stuck to the end. Uh, shameless plug. Um, on screen right now is send it please 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 stream all my songs it will help me up help me up it will help me so much uh follow whatever anyway all right thanks for watching bye bye